one of the key aspects in being able to create the reality that you want and to be able to live that life is to start living it now, is to start putting yourself in situation, is to start showing up, is to start making decisions that are completely aligned with the life that you want to create. And I know this sounds like common sense, but it is not common practice because a lot of people struggle to step out of the comfort zone, to make those new decisions, to take that risk, to be in an unfamiliar, unknown, uncharted territory in their life because they're so programmed to be a certain way, to do things, to think a certain way, to make the same decision, to expect the same things. They have that old identity that is keep on running their life on autopilot. And so people stagnate in their life, perpetuate the same pattern, because they're not able to, one, expand their identity, expand how they see themselves so that they can start to really visualize and see themselves and feel like I belong where I want to be, right? And two, to be able to, when the intuition leads you somewhere, when you are feeling inspired to do something, when you know I need to make certain changes, to go and do it, especially making the tough decision, letting some people go, going to new places, trying something new, you know, facing one of your biggest fear. All of these things are required to shifting your reality. And often what I see, the questions that I get is, you know, people are trying to bypass all the resistance, all the work, all the showing up. They want to become spectator and feel like, okay, well, if I just watch those videos and read those books and buy those courses and change my thoughts and visualize, would I be able to just, you know, manifest everything without doing anything, right? And this, I know straight away, when I get this type of question, which is often, by the way, I know that people are not willing to do whatever it takes. They're not willing to take responsibility for their life. They want an easy way out. They just want it to be handed to them. And that's why most people remain stuck there. Because with that kind of mindset and attitude, what you sow, you will reap. So you got to ask yourself really clearly, what am I sowing in my life? when I'm afraid to step out, when I'm afraid to take action, when I say I want that thing, but I'm afraid to be rejected, when I'm afraid of what people are going to say, I'm a, I keep the same old fear alive over and over and over again instead of facing them. What are you really you know, telling to yourself? What are you really telling life? Right? So it's important to understand that, yes, shifting that mindset and doing, changing your thought and visualizing and all those tools to change your inner world is extremely important. In fact, it's the biggest piece of the puzzle, no doubt. But you have to show up once you make that shift in your mind and to cement that shift in your physical life. It happens through taking the right action, showing up in a new way. I'm going to give you an example. Years ago, I used to you know, try to really change my relationship with money, which was you know, really bad, so to speak, right? It was, it was poor, matter of speaking. And one of the things that used to freak me out is to go, you know, to the mall and to go to some of those, uh, you know, expensive shops. And they were not even that expensive uh, in some cases, but I just felt like out of place. I felt like if I go and try things and don't buy them, people will know I don't have the money or they will look at me and judge me. And it would really, uh, it used to really make me very uncomfortable. And so I, I didn't go into those shops. But you see, my identity back then didn't allow me to go in those shops because the image I had, the, the, the relationship I had, with money and how I saw money and how I saw my self-worth with money and all of that didn't allow me to go into the shop, didn't allow me to make the money to go into the shop and buy certain things I wanted, right? I was, it was a self-imposed limitation. So at some point I got the idea, the idea of like, okay, I cannot keep on being afraid to go into shops. I cannot keep on being afraid and uncomfortable when I go into the shop my new self when I was visualizing and so on, I always felt like in place, I always felt like I had the money, I always felt like, you know, it was natural to go into the shop. So I was like, it's time to face that fear, it's time to face that resistance, it's time to show up and fake it till you make it type of vibe and show up in the shop and learn to express, you know, confidence and worthiness and I belong here type of thing. And it was useful, you know, the first few times it was awkward and it wasn't easy, but I visualized it and then I applied it and over time it just became easy and normal. 
So I took control of something I was afraid, something that my old self was afraid, and I replaced it, I reconditioned it by showing up in a new way in my life as if I'm already that worthy, abundant person. I didn't wait for the abundance to find me, for the money to land in my lap, for me to then show up with confidence. Before that happened, I made the change inside of myself because I recognized that was my own fear projected on the shop and on those items. It wasn't real, but it was perpetuated by my own identity and by my own way of seeing the world. And so I invite you to consider those very important questions in your life. Where and how can you show up differently in your life? The first part of the equation is really to know who do I need to become. And I talk about this a lot in my channel. You know, I've got so many videos that can break down this process for you. But you gotta start to know where do I want to be and to go there, who do I need to become? How do I need to change? What do I need to learn? How do I need to grow? How do I need to dress differently? How do I need to react differently? How do I need to speak differently? How do I need to make certain new decisions? Who do I need to let go? Where do I need new boundaries? All of these type of things will give you indications of the change and the growth that needs to happen between yourself first. And gratitude, visualization, changing your thought, all those inner games things we talk about in the channel are absolutely game changer and essential to craft that new identity. Yeah? But then it's about showing up. So in the future, when you get that hunch, when you feel inspired, when your intuition tells you to do something, even if it's scary, even if you're unsure, even if you don't know how it's going to work out, this is when it matters the most because this is what helps you cross the bridge from where you are to where you want to be and open up the realm of possibility. You know, often it's called the bridge of incident. One idea leads you to meet a person who leads you to meet another and leads you to, before you know it, you're in a completely different place because you took action on a hunch that led to so many other things. And this doesn't happen every time, but it happens. And every time you overcome your old self, you anchor your new self and your new reality comes in closer simply because you have shifted who you are and what you're demonstrating has shifted. And so naturally, your result will shift also. I hope this video makes sense, guys. Please stop being an observer of your reality and start becoming an actor. Start participating. Start making things happen. And you'll be surprised by how fast things can change and improve in your life. Let me know what you think down in the comment. As always, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Be well.